sure, come on in, he says, pleasantly surprised. You don't want to go to a bar with me? Uh, yeah, just let me, let me finish cleaning up in here, and we'll, we'll head out right away, yeah. Sure, let's go. Cool, so he, you know, locks the door and walks right out. All right, so we go to the bar. The same bar that you guys were at before? Yep. Okay. You guys head over there, and he says, you know, he starts asking questions. What's your name? Where are you from? What are you doing in town? You know. I answer all those things. Okay. So, Very good. Um, <coughs> it, it, we <laughs> nice spend a good play. night. Before we continue on, what, what, uh, <laughs> what like... He does well, and he really likes me. <laughs> what race is this guy? Um, African. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, he is human, but he is the ugliest most disgusting <laughs> crass human you've ever met in your life apparently mm -hmm. i should have rolled his charisma earlier um no but he's got like warts and pimples and like what do you call them um uh, uh the, the the bulging nasty shit not bunions but blisters boils, boils, boils that's yeah. it boils boils like all over his face his nose is crooked and bent he's got like a slight hunch on his back he's got like this long, thin fingers that are, like, kind of greasy. His hair looks like but, it's never washed, and it's, like, patchy. And he's just, like, really disgusting. And on top of that, he's totally, like, ridiculously socially awkward and impolite. He's like, hey, babe, where's your house? Where's your mom like? You know, just, like, trying to ask things. And you can see he's almost trying to be normal, but he's, like, retarded and ridiculous. Like, no social skills. Did you roll a two on his charisma or something? A one. Three. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But what is he like on the inside, Neil? <laughs> you know, you have to talk to him to get to really know the inside, Jeff. Okay. If you take the so, time, you know, you find out. But he's maybe like, you should get to know him, too. He's like, well, <laughs> his senses. He means to ask, like, he means to say you're pretty, but he winds up, like, somehow implying that you're a slut. And he just, like, says things in the worst possible way. Like, just super bad social manners. That like, he right. doesn't even, you know, you know how... So, uh, I guess, do I see, no, I'm asleep when Jen brings him back to the bar, huh? I guess that makes sense. Probably. Okay. All right. So, I guess this is all Jen then. Cause the, or, no, I'm staying watch. But I'm upstairs. And I yeah, wouldn't have any reason to come downstairs. So, so this yeah. is all Jen. Disgusting, ugly guy. Never had a girl come up to him and offer to be his friend before. You're like, hey, want to hang out? I'm new in town. And he's like, oh, my God. This is the greatest <laughs> person. Yeah, we have a good night. We laugh a lot. I even buying him a drink. Okay, he pays for most of the drinks. It's trying to like, you know. Yeah, um, I only pay for one. Okay. Is there That's anything? It. No, nothing special. Just friendly banter. I'm always nice and smiley. Okay. Um, and I wish him a good night, and I say, y you want to hang out tomorrow as well? Yeah, that'd be great. Awesome. I'll come see you tomorrow yeah. night. Yeah! Let's yeah. do it! Yeah. Can't wait to see you next time. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay. I give him a hug, and then I go to sleep. Okay. Mm. You've, like, made this guy's life. He's never been this happy yeah. before. He's Perfect. always been treated But awful. as you hug him, like, 30 pimples pop. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're all over the front no, of your no, shirt. No, it wasn't a one. It was a three, so it doesn't... <laughs> what? Yeah. He's just disgusting. You should okay. see what it wants like. <laughs> if it was a one, it would have popped. It, it's a three. It didn't pop, I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh, they're not whiteheads? I'm okay. the one who hugged them. I know how it went. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, next morning? Yeah, next morning. Uh, me and Vincent are working for Mar. Jen, I guess, Vince, or Jen and uh, Brigger are on their own. Mm -hmm. uh, Jen, did you tell me to step outside of the game? Did you tell me that you were going to go visit the guy that night? Yeah, I did tell you. Did? Uh, yeah, I did. I told you I was going to go make friends with him. Okay, so before I leave to go work with Mar, I'll uh, pull her aside and ask her how the night went. It went great. I think he really likes me. We're really good friends. What did you and guys... He definitely wants to get in my pants. <laughs> That's great. What, what, did you guys, uh, what did you guys do? We drank all night. Wait, so you, now... took him, you took him to a bar? You yeah. were in public with this guy? That's fine. What if I can What if the side. guards, I mean, this guy is pretty freaking distinguishable between everyone else. 
What if someone in the bar recognizes you when the guards start asking where this guy is? I'll be sad and grieving. <laughs> if you think you can pull that off, more power to you. Just, I don't, I don't want to piss that guy off that, uh, that gave you this problem. So just be careful. I, I would not be seen in public too much with this guy. Okay, I won't be seen in public with him anymore. Okay. Uh, I got to go work with Mar. This, another montage day. You know how it goes. Yeah, this I'll is the... Out. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the fifth day. Like, this is the last day of work. Are you guys going to leave tomorrow? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, day proceeds. Anyone have any actions they want to do during the day? Uh, I grabbed the, the poison from DP. Okay. Do you, uh, I guess, yeah, yeah, you can... Feel free to have some more wine. <laughs> and I, I want to go back to the uh, Tanners. Okay. You head on back? Yeah. I, I go in and I ask if my, my Hellhound cloak is ready. Uh, he says, yes. Yes, it is. And he hands it to you. He says, the, it's a very nice red color. And the, the cloak looks pretty good. It's pretty cool. I say thanks, and it fits perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> Craig was the creepiest guy in the whole game. <laughs> fucking anorexic <laughs> elf gets nude for 80 year olds and fucking go gets a cloak man. <laughs> All right. Uh, walk out with my fire cape. Cool. Okay. Uh, anyone else have any actions during the day? I'm just working for, for the man. Or Same here. Man. All right. Jen, any actions for the day? Uh. Um, no, I'll wait for, like, the shops to close, I guess. Cool. Okay. Um, get off. <laughs> next day. Night comes? Uh, ne next night, I mean, sorry, yeah, uh, yeah. So, I guess we're all down at the bar. I'll, I'll ask, uh, Ryan, did you ever go back to that wizard? What, didn't you take the sword from Jeff or something? Where, where's the sword at? The guy, the wizard has the sword. Yeah. Okay, just make sure you get that before we leave town. I, I don't want to leave that here, you know. He said it, He said five days to ID. How many days has it been? That, uh, so you should pick it up today or tomorrow before you leave town. Let's just go today. Well, it's nighttime, so... It's the uh, evening, true. no? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. If, if you want to go pick that up, uh, I'll, I'll gladly go with you if you want some protection. I heard about the other night. It's kind of weird. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, or maybe you can just go pick it up by yourself and I'll just chill at the bar. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Sounds fine. I, I don't, I don't want you to be in any awkward situation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Appreciate that, bro. No problem. I'll, uh, I'll put out a fist bump and <laughs> just nod my head. And <laughs> so, JP, you head over to the wizard shop? Yeah, that's where I'm going to go. Okay. The first stop of the night. the door, he opens it, he says, Oh, my God, you are a big fella, aren't you? That's what they say. Um, my friends dropped off a sword here the other night. You know, uh, two elves, one of them pretty anorexic looking. I think you saw a little bit more of him than the other. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, but I didn't see you with them. Uh, I was... Uh, they're, look, I, I know the two. <laughs> uh-huh. I know them as well. And they can come home and pick up their sword whenever they want. But I don't know who the hell you are. So unless you have business with me... I suggest you scattle. Okay, all right. Look, that that's fair. Um, I'll I'll have uh, I'll have one of them come and pick it up uh, tomorrow. You have a good night. Sorry about that. Okay. I'll go back to the bar and uh, look, Breger. He won't. Uh, he doesn't know me. I think you need to to either come with me or or go alone. Uh, I think this guy does want to see you again, and I'll kind of give him a wink and a nudge. Mm. Excellent. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, you head over? Mm hmm. All right, All right so I, I knock on the door again and say, hey, look, it's my friend with clothes uh, on. Well, you were. All right. I got your sword ready for you. Do you want your what, teeth back? Um, uh, Hold on. Nah, he's going to nah, give you. What, what's See, that's, uh, a, that's a very fine cloak you got there. Imagine how good it would look if you had a. A, a hellhound tooth necklace to go with it. Ooh, that would say, look pretty good, Breger. What, what, uh, what do hellhound teeth even do for wizards? Are you, Nina, you whore, get off of me. Um, 
Sorry. We, yeah. uh, well, we use them in certain spell components is all. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull the wizard aside and like, come here and, and kind of turn our backs to Ryan and uh, whisper, whisper to him this. I'll type it to you, Neil. You whisper this to the wizard? Yes. Uh, all right, there you go. The wizard kind of looks at you and shakes his head and says, so it takes a lot of time, a lot of money to get this stuff done. I'll say that. <laughs> I like the idea of an eight foot tall, 400 pound <laughs> creature whispering. Yep. Yeah. Like leaning over and kind of like whispering into the ear. Um, he says, well, your friend knows what it takes. All right. All right. I, I get it. Well, right. I guess this is on you. I mean, if you could, uh, if you could do the back party again. favor. Yeah, we're back here again. I mean, we could, we could make some gold. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm, kind of, I'm quite the poor fellow here. But it's up to you, buddy. This is your deal. And I slap him on the back and turn turn and just kind of like put my hands like this and just turn the opposite way. All right. So <clears throat> I turn to the wizard and I say, uh, what, uh, what can you tell us about the, the sword that I gave you? He says, well, this sword, uh, this is a, a, a bloodsucker sword. Well, it used, he kind of takes a sign and says, when used in combat, or when used on a li live target, it, um, how, how do you phrase this properly? It, it can exchange some of the, uh, enemies, the, the, the target's life for, that's not the right thing yet. Just, it's a good sword, just take it, just take it, it's... It's, it's got some magical properties that work only when in contact with blood. Um, most of these properties are... You know, just, uh, kind of scratches his head and pulls on his beard and says, Hold on, I forgot. Let me go look at my notes. I got distracted by your body again. Uh, and he goes... Oh oh. <laughs> um, sorry. Let me actually look at my notes. So, in game terms, this is a plus one sword, plus one to hit, plus one to damage. And when it actually, when you kill someone with it, like when it's sucked enough blood to damage someone, it gains a temporary plus one as well. So, if you kill someone, then it becomes a plus two sword for the next hour. And then if you kill two people, it becomes a plus three, and so on and so forth, up to a maximum of plus five. Nice. Cool. Do me and Ryan both hear that? Yeah, he tells okay. it to both of you. Okay. Cool. And I say, uh, how, and how much does that uh, cost again, Mr. Wizard? All the teeth, which I already have, so you guys can go now. I, I kind of look at Ryan and just, or Breger and shake my head and say, man, we could have done some more with those teeth. And I just start walking around, or <laughs> walking away. <laughs> I, I grab the sword and I say, you can always get more teeth. True enough. True enough. So, uh, I guess we'll go back to the bar. Uh, kind of tell Vincent and, and Abigail what it does in private, um, so they know what it is. I, I, I say I think Vincent probably the best equipped to use something like this. I mean, Ryan, you can't hit a barn. It, there's just you can't hit anything, no matter how far or close it is to you. Because I screwed no, I up that, think that it statement. Should go to Vincent. Uh, we'll give it to Vincent. Um, he does pretty well. And uh, I, me and Abigail got to go take care of something uh, tonight. You guys have a good night. And uh, I'll grab Abigail and walk out of the bar. Okay. And then the Zelda sound plays as I hold up the sword in the air. <laughs> <laughs> hold mm -hmm, on. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a pretty nifty weapon. Hold on, I got you, Jeff. Are you playing Zelda sounds? I am. 
There we go. Yeah. Item get. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Abigail, have you uh, put any thought into uh, yeah. the problem at hand tonight? Let's go talk in the dark corner. <laughs> nice. You say to JP? Yeah. Okay. Well. So, so now we're we're alone, right? There's like nobody you and JP. here. Yeah. Uh, in the dark you have to whisper. If you whisper, you'll probably not be heard. All right. I'm gonna whisper. So, um, let me, let, let me, tell me what you think about my plan, all right? Sure, sure, go ahead. So, I'm thinking I'm gonna go to his place and try to sneak in so that nobody notices I'm going there. Then I'm gonna get the guy drunk um, and make him drink the poison. Um, we're gonna talk for a while until he feels bad. Then I'm thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him I'm gonna take good care of him since he's feeling bad. So I'm gonna put him to bed. Sure. And um yeah, then I, I guess once he falls asleep I'll try to finish the job off. Do you know, uh, I mean, can this guy drink a lot? Like, how long is this going to take? You were with him at the bar the other night. How much did he drink and how long did it take? Mm, I don't really know. Okay. Um, so, Neil, I want to step out of the game. Can I okay. cast Calculate on this? Or, I mean, on, I'd, on what exactly? On the plan that she just hatched. Is that more on a per action basis instead of a plan basis? Yeah, this is more of a specific action. Okay. So if, if the action is presented in front of you, you can figure out what the what the chances are. Okay, so I'll I'll, uh, I'll say, Abigail, that sounds great. Why don't you, once he's kind of asleep in a drunken stupor or whatever, uh, why don't you come let me inside and uh, we'll make sure that it, it goes smoothly. Sure, just try to not be seen too much, even though you're a big fat ochre. Yeah, I mean, what? where would you like me to hide? <laughs> uh, don't you have a spell for that or something? I heal people. I don't mm. turn myself invisible. <laughs> well, maybe, I don't know, find... Look, look, I'll, I'll, I'll handle that. You Okay. go take care of what okay. you need to. And okay. uh, remember okay. to come get me before you do anything drastic. Uh, where are you going to be? Um, just uh, w when you're ready for me, open the window and uh, make a uh, make a rooster noise. That seems <laughs> stupid. That seems very stupid. Well, make some sort of noise that I will know it's you. Uh, Either was that. Uh, I'll, I'll send my fur to get you. How about that? Can my fur do that? Yeah, you've been able I to like teach the plan it to for go Rooster. get JP. I'll get the fruit to go get JP. Okay, but he better he may, he better call like a rooster, or else I'm not coming in. He will do his best impersonation of a rooster by a fruit. Yes. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Good luck, Abigail. Don't uh, screw this up, or we're both dead, literally. Okay. Okay. So, what do you do, Abigail? Exactly. Uh, I'm gonna follow the plan. <laughs> okay. So, so uh, I'm going to try to go visit him unnoticed. Mm -hmm. And I'm a thief and I'm sneaky, so that should work. All right, so you kind of sneak time. across town to his yeah. shop. Okay. Yeah. All right, you get there. He I'm says, oh, I've been waiting for you all day. What? I say, I, I couldn't wait for the day to be over. Were you, were you busy during the day? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was working with the merchant. Uh, I'm hired by him. That's right. You told me about the merchant last night. His name is Mar, isn't it? Exactly, yes. yes. Well, what did you want to do tonight, pretty lady? How about we drink some at your place? His eyes light up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So and he lets I... you in and like pours a big glass of wine and pours one for you. Yeah. Okay. Go I, on. I don't, I don't really drink my wine. Um, okay. 
And then I, I show him my ferret. <laughs> what a disgusting little rodent. I it's mean, my... I mean, it's a nice pet. Yeah, it's my it's my pet. It's Mr. Muggle. Does it get a lot of fleas? A lot of? A lot of fleas. Fleas. No, oh, no, he's very clean. F feel free to feel free to pet him and play with Kinda... him. Oh, actually, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got. I guess he's gonna go grab the cat. Yep. <laughs> Sample ferret right here. He kind of like reaches out and is like, <laughs> it's kind of warm and pretty. I like it. Okay. Like so it upside down because he's kind of dumb. <laughs> don't really know what to do it. She's a nice ferret. Is he is he distracted She's enough? Mean. Is he distracted enough? Like. Yeah, so he's like clearly obsessed with the creature now. And he's like, what's well, Okay, so while he's not you looking, he's just gonna. I'm gonna pour the poison in his glass while he's not looking. Okay. Is that fine? Oh, shit. Jeff's audio is gonna oh, fuck geez. this up. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. You successfully pour the poison in his glass. Unnoticed? Yeah, unnoticed. Perfect. So, I say it's Mr. Muggogles first. Hmm. Okay. You guys continue to have a pleasant conversation. Yeah. Alright, that sounds good. I wait until he feels bad. <laughs> okay. Um, so you guys continue to chat. You know, and after like an hour of drinking, he starts getting kind of suggestive. And is like, why don't you come back and see the rest of my place? Uh, I, I, nice bed. We, she might like to sit on it. I say we can look around a bit. I look at his... We're at his shop, right? Yeah. He lit like his house is built into the shop. So I start looking at the potions and I ask him right. what they do. Um, he starts, you know, explaining this one does that, this one does this other thing, and I mean, you distract, do you just try and distract him until the. Oh, I actually want to know what they do also. <laughs> oh, um, he's got some healing potions. He's got a potion of levitation. He's got one potion of invisibility, which is like his prized possession. He's been trying to replicate it, but he doesn't actually know how to make it. Um, Wait, so you know, he, he has that, but he doesn't know how to make it? or Yeah, he got it. He was sold to him. Oh, but he okay. doesn't know how to create it. Um, he's got some like minor healing potuses that just heal a little bit. Uh, and he's got a whole bunch of stuff. It's actually a pretty valuable shop. Huh? He's got a lot of different things. I can give you a full list in chat if you want. Mm, all right, sure. Okay, well, let me give it to you later. Cause I, I would have to make up a list. It'll type, take a while of typing. Okay. Well, we have a good conversation. I distract him with the potions and stuff and Mr. Mugwoggles until he starts feeling bad. Yeah, he starts <laughs> sweating and then he kind of like leans down and he's like, you know, I think I had too much wine. Would you lie down next to me while I recover? I say, sure, I'll come join you in a few. How about that? Okay. And like kind of, he goes and lies down for a moment. Um, it gets really quiet in the room. Okay. So... That's hmm. sad. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel bad internally, but it's okay. I'm a thief, so... I'll do what has to be done. <laughs> so um, I open up the window and I send Mr. Mugwoggles. Towards JP? Yeah. Okay. Um, JP, you've been kind of like kicking back for... It seems like forever. It's been like two and a half hours. And all of a sudden, this little ferret comes up running towards you. It looks a little bit like Mr. Mugwoggles. I look at the ferret and I... I, I, I guess I just audibly say, like, yes. <coughs> I don't know. What, what noises do a ferret make? He's trying to do the, crow, the, the noise GP wanted him to do. Well, it's your ferret. I think you should have to roleplay it. What, what was the noise you wanted him to do? A crow noise? A well, I mean, this is up to you. I can't repeat it. So he goes like, rrr, rrr. it's his best impersonation. I, of I just kind of put my head, as, yeah, I'll fucking come inside. Like, God, and I just, <laughs> I'm walking, <laughs> I, uh, so the layout, Neil, I guess this is gonna, you're just gonna have to make this up unless you know what it looks like. What does this house look like? Is the only way in through the, uh, the front door, I guess? Uh, yeah. Try, ah, shit. All right, so 
Is the door unlocked still? I guess I'll go up and like try no, the, the try the handle. It's locked. Yeah. Um. So I'll I'll mess with the handle and see that it's locked. I'm like, great. Um. Is it one story? Yeah. All right. I'll, I guess I I'll try to look in the window and see if I see anything inside. Okay. Um. You see the. I mean, it's just it's the shop. It's open how it normally would be. Um, Do I see Abigail or the guy anywhere? No, they're not in the front room. So, uh, I guess I'll look down at the, the ferret and kind of go like this. And uh, I guess kick it a little bit and have it go back. At least not, sorry, that's what I'm trying to do. I can't see your face. I can't see your camera. I just get a, a state of the game overlay for your... Uh, yeah, what, so I'm just kind of like doing the, the like what's up. Uh, like the select what's up face where he just puts both his hands up. It's kind of like... I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't know what. To, okay. I don't know what to do. So, so the, the ferret get, gets back to me. No, if the ferret is like hanging out next to JP. Oh, I guess would you have been waiting in the front room? Yeah. Okay. I for some reason I thought you'd be waiting with the dude. No, I guess you, no. you look in the window and you see Jen. Yeah. Or Abigail. Okay, so I, um, I open up the door sub subtly without yeah. making noise. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'll quietly step in and ask, uh, "Where's he at?" He's lying in the bed. I whisper. I left him in the bed. Okay. okay. Um, you go back and he's like sweating and like feverish. He's unconscious, but he's not quite dead yet. His boils are boiling. His zits have all popped. <laughs> so yeah. I ask, um, so what's, I mean, we got to kill this guy. Uh, the potion's just going to do damage. I guess I'd rather keep that. Um, you want to just try like a one... A, w a quick kill. I mean, you're the you're the the rogue like character here. I mean, don't you have spells to do damage? Oh, I, we can definitely do damage to him. But if I do a spell, it's gonna make noise. People are gonna see it. Potentially, is it gonna make noise? I mean, it's a spell. I gotta say the words. There might be loud things happening. Spells do that. I mean, as a rogue, you can deliver a very quick killing blow I would think. No? I have a hammer. That thing's going to make a lot of noise. Okay, so I'll just go join him up in bed. You notice that he stopped breathing. Be like, what? Is he... Did, you, did he die of alcohol poisoning? No, I used a poison. Oh. I didn't know you used it. Okay. I guess we can just choke him. You're just going to choke not him? Breathing. Huh? I like this conversation. Choking him isn't going to help. He's not breathing. Yeah. Choke the dead body. Oh, he's not breathing? <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, look, look. You have a sword. I don't want to really deal with the blood. We need to make this a clean kill somehow. You want to... Should we take him out of here and go kill him elsewhere so there's no blood and we can just hide the body? Oh, and if he wakes up or something... If he wakes Man, and up, they say video game violence is what makes people <laughs> weird. <laughs> Look, if he wakes up, I can take care of that for about a minute or so. Oh, good enough. Okay. Um, we need to get him out of here. There's an invisibility potion. Maybe we should uh, take some of that. Well, why didn't you? Why don't you just kill him, drink that, and walk out? Sure. But I'm inside the house. Like, how is this? They're gonna. I have to leave the house. Mm, then let's go with plan number one. Okay. Um, how big is this I'm guy, Neil? I, I take a couple of potion, all right? Sure. How In big is pocket. this guy, Neil? Uh, he's kind of a... He's not that big. He's like a 5'6", maybe 160 pounds. So like machine. So... <laughs> <laughs> so like machine, yeah. Um, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw him over my shoulder, and uh, as we're walking out, I tell Abigail to grab as many potions as she can. And uh, I guess I'm gonna walk out and walk away from any guards to somewhere where there's no one around. Hopefully, outside of town, if I can get out that far with the guy so on my shoulder. So you toss the body over your shoulder. Yep. And try and leave town. Yeah, I mean, well, I know there's not a wall or anything, but you just like walk through town with the body over your shoulder. No, no, I mean I go through the side streets and make sure not so anyone doesn't notice me, etc. To my bet, to the best of my ability. 
Yeah, he's like sneaky at eight foot tall, four hundred fifty pounds. <laughs> you don't have to be sneaky. I'm just carrying my friend to to bed, yeah. man. He's drunk. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> you probably will, Ryan. So I guess you carry him out of town into the woods. Did you nope. roll something for that? <laughs> well, I mean, he does it. Okay. Yeah, okay. So Jen, I guess Jen's out there with me. Jen, I'm, did you follow? I'm following you from a distance, along with all my new potions. Well, I mean, how many uh, potions did you grab? Uh, how many potions can I grab, including the I mean, invisibility it's, it's one? A shop filled with bunch. There's more than you can carry. Mm. I'll get like ten different. I want an assortment of everything. <laughs> okay, we'll work out the details afterwards. Okay, sure. All right, sure. Um, so I guess. I'm going to put the body down next to a tree, and uh, I'll just start digging a ditch. With what? Uh, I guess with my hands for now. I'll use the, the, I guess, like the top of my hammer to kind of dig and move the dirt around and then start slowly digging with my hands. Okay, so you dig a ditch. It takes you a while with your bare hands to dig a hole big enough to fill a person. Well, I mean, I, to be honest, we could... if. I guess jumping out of the game, we could Dexter this guy and just cut him up in different parts and then uh, bury him in something smaller. <laughs> so I mean, you're still going to have to dig a hole the size of a person. It's just the work is now divided into lots of little Can we things. really Dexter this guy? Is there any lakes around? Uh, no, not that you know of. You'd have to ask around. I don't want to ask around. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Jen walks up on me, I guess, while I'm digging. Right. Yeah, I walk up and I say, I'm going to go get the money from the guy. Just kill the dude. We're what? No, no, no. This is your <laughs> contract. You have to kill him. All right, fine. but He's dead, he... guys. Oh, he's already dead? Oh, awesome. He's been cool. dead for a while. <laughs> oh, cool. I'm super happy. Then just stay with the dead <laughs> Wait, body. Does God just come down from the clouds and be like, he's dead, guys? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, he had stopped breathing, and then you put him on your shoulder and carried him out of town. That's not like yeah, a five-minute sure. job. That's like a half-hour job, and you can feel there's no heartbeat. Okay, there's good enough, breath. good enough. He's dead. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I will say to JP. I thought the like it, he's not breathing was a pretty yes, good hit. That he well, I didn't think the poison alive. could kill anyone. It only yeah, does yeah. damage. I guess if it does it enough does damage, it'll kill. Twenty him. damage, dude. Yeah, that's How true. much life do you have? That's true. <laughs> All right, so Tedigab, just stay with the body, get it ready. I'm gonna go get the payment, and if he needs a proof, we're gonna have the proof. All right. I say, hold on, give me, give me your knife, real quick. Why do you want my knife? Just, just give me your knife. Oh. The guy's gotta have proof. No, I don't want a bloody knife. <laughs> All right, so I'm no, going to be like, ah. And I'll go down and grab one of the guy's fingers and hand it to Jen. So here's you your proof. the guy's finger? I rip one of the guy's hand, or fingers off, yeah. Mm, all right, I'll put it in my hand bag. Hand that to Jen and say, there's your proof. In a different compartment from Mr. Muggles. <laughs> 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 Good distinction. Yeah. All right, and then I'll keep digging the ditch and uh, bury the guy. All right. Okay. The, the don't finish burying him off. I told you to like wait for me. What? You want to be here to bury him? I in case the guy wants some proof, I feel like we should just uh, be ready for the proof. I look down at the guy. I'll do whatever, and I just walk away, and I go to <laughs> die. Okay. <laughs> so okay. I go to the CD bar, and I look for the dude. Can right. you see him? He's there. I say, the job is done. He looks at you. I would like my the... payment. Really? Mm -hmm. It's done. Yes. How do I know you're telling me the truth? Um, I have proof. Can I pull him aside, like to a? Really I mean, the entire bar is shady and dark and quiet. Like you guys are whispering in the corner already. So I, I sneakily show him a finger, and I say, is that good enough, or do you want to come and see for yourself? It's like, still well, available. I said it's still available, but here's a finger. I don't think I'd, any other man's got a finger that ugly. <laughs> I believe you. Good. I would like my payment then, and nobody heard about it, so I want the good payment. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have to see how, people, how it pans out with no one hearing about it. I mean, it's only been... It's only just happened, right? His finger can't be more than a few hours old. Okay, well, 
give me some of the money that now and if by morning you're fully satisfied, give me the other part. He's like, okay, cool. And he hands you a, a bag with money in it. I, how much money is that? You ask him? Mm, sure. He says uh, 100, 100 gold. And how much are you going to give me tomorrow? Uh, if it's done right, I'll give you another 50. I want another 100, if it's done right. Well, sorry, the contract's worth 150. Hmm. Sure, but... Oh, oh crap. The Just, group called. Okay. Yeah, yeah, here, one sec. Sure, hold on, let me call you back. Fucking group call shit. I fucking hate you, Skype. Okay. Keep... Continue on. All right. Is, is 150 good? Like, how much is that worth again? What? Uh, you already have $200. Is it, like, is, it, is it like a decent payment for real? Like, I really don't know, like, assassination prices. <laughs> Are you asking uh, him for that's the... Your, that's I, I'm asking... No, I'm asking Neil. Like, as a... So you're a thief. You might know these things already. That's incredibly low. You should be charging, like, 100... Many hundreds, if not thousands, of gold to kill someone. Okay, so I'm going to tell him, well, that's a pretty shitty payment. She told me you would pay me good gold. Hey, this is what it goes for in this town. You didn't ask ahead of time, and now this is what you can get. Mm. This is the job. Now, I'm offering you 100 gold. Here it is. You can go your way, and we can be square. Or you can cause some problems, and my friends here will have to negotiate. Mm. All and right. All right. It's okay. I'll see you tomorrow, then. <laughs> kind of raises his eyebrows and says, thanks. I say, no problem. I get the job done. <laughs> I, I get the like, job done. And then I get paid. <laughs> yeah, I get my shit pay, and I walk away. All right, okay. so are you coming back to me now? Jen? Yeah, I'll come back to you. Uh, so, a Abigail, uh, how'd it go? How'd it go? I got I'm got. finished burying him, by the way. I got a shit pay, but I got the money. Wait, wait, how, how much did you get? 150. Why you is that? Huh? You got 100. Oh, you got 100. 100. Uh, I thought I got 150. Okay, I got 100. Wait, so why is that shit pay? That 100, I mean, I barely even have 60. What, how is that shit? Because for killing people, you can get much more money. Really? Is this guy screwing us over? Yeah, definitely. Well, but he was pretty good friends with this alchemy guy. You know, we could pin this on him and go tell the guards. That's what I was about to tell you, actually. Maybe we could I, blackmail this guy. I'm thinking I'm thinking tomorrow morning I'll get the other half, because he owes me half. Uh, if nobody, like, realized anything. And... After I get the money, then we can go report him. And I'm pretty sure he still has the finger on him. Oh, you gave him the finger. Perfect. Well, before we... I gave him the, the finger. finger. <laughs> I gave him the finger. Before, before you report him, let's make sure that, uh, that he doesn't want to give us more. You know? Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't. At, at most, I'll get an, another hundred. That he well, I, I mean, the premise of blackmailing someone is telling them what you're going to do and then seeing if they'll give you more money, so... He's going to give us trouble. I think it's better to act swiftly. Okay. All right. He's whatever a, you say. He's a, he's a shady dude. All right. Whatever you say. Uh, I, I agree with Abigail. We'll tell the guards tomorrow as we leave town. I pull out a, a flask, pour it over the man's grave, and uh, walk off. As is customary for his religion. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> exactly. He's the proper burial rites, at least. Yep. Okay. Um, okay, so you head back to the tavern? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, next day rolls around. Mar comes down from his room in the morning. He's like, okay, guys, time to get on the road again. Sure, yeah, let's go. Uh, we got a couple things to do in town. Uh, Bregger's got to go talk to this weird... Wait, no, did, did we already take care of that, Bregger? Yeah, I already did everything. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah, I think we're good to go, unless someone else in the party uh, needs to do anything. Uh, I just wanted to go say goodbye to my friend, and then we can leave, all right? Oh, right, right. Oh, uh, Mar says, okay, we'll make it quick, because I want to take off the next 45 minutes. 
That sounds sure. great. Okay. Sure. Come so, along, ogre man. Wait, wait, why am so I coming with you? Yep. Oh, I guess you're not coming along. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, you don't need me. Sure. Okay, so I go to the CD bar. Okay. Are you saying CD bar or CD? Yeah, this, yeah, the CD bar, like the gross bar. When you say it fast, it sounds like city bar. <laughs> okay, the CD bar. There you go. <laughs> All right. Okay. okay. So I go see the man and I'm like, so, I haven't heard anything, so sh can I get my money? Uh, well, seems like a couple of people yes. saw you. This no. question being asked, yeah. Yes. So, I haven't had any problems. Yeah, well, they haven't confronted you yet, but I've heard rumors that, you know, some things have turned up, so, uh, no, you don't get anything else. I don't get anything else? Nope. Sorry, you didn't do a good job. All right. Then I'm going to go to the alchemist place okay. and knock. Okay. And you know. obviously nobody answers, so I'm going to go see the guard and I'm going to say, "Have you seen the alchemist around?" You like walk up to a random guard? Yeah. Have you He's like, "Uh, you know, uh, Haldor the the ugly. Yeah, yeah. I've seen why, why why are you calling him that way? He's my friend. Don't say that. Yeah. Well, have you seen him? Yeah, he's a really nice man. Yeah, and he's ugly as sin. Well, we all have our own preferences, you know. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I saw him around <laughs> yesterday. I wanted to buy some potions from him. Um, well, uh, knock on his door. I did. He didn't reply. What do I'm you really, want? I'm really worried about him. He told me some men wanted him dead. He was very scared for himself. The guy starts like, what do you want me to do? Open the door for you? Yeah. You have hands. Use the doorknob. Open it. Jesus Christ. Oh, it must be locked. It's a shop. Well, then maybe he's sleeping. I don't know. This is not my problem. I've got shit to do. <laughs> he kind of like turns to start walking away. I go back to the athletic You go back to me? Yeah. But, yeah? What? What's up? I say, well, we gotta I go pretty what... soon. I say, well, I don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> what? What do you mean? What happened? What the guy the said? The guy won't give me money and the Guard doesn't seem to give a shit that the dude is dead. But why? What are the? Why won't the guy give you money? He said he heard rumors, which is false. But that's what it is. What it is. I mean, we could just walk away with the hundred gold and move on from it. I guess. But you said this is worth what thousands? Yeah, but what can we do? I mean, we're not gonna go kill the other dude. <sighs> I could try to go rob him, but. I don't have a plan. How many people were in the bar today when you went? When you went to talk to him? Many, many. How many is many, Neil? About fifteen. Oh, you guys are coming up on the forty-five minute mark. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Um, look, I, I think this may might be a shitty deal. We're kind of getting screwed here, but I don't want this. These guards chasing us. We could go back. We could try to blackmail the guy. Um, Maybe we'll mention something to the guard afterward, right before we're getting ready to leave. Say that you uh, know that the alchemist is missing, and I, I don't. I don't think we should start anything here in the town. We got to go really soon. We've already kind of had a rough time with Mar, and uh, this town freaks me out. That fucking wizard, even though it was funny, I mean he was abusing <laughs> one of our party <laughs> members. This guy made us kill someone. That alchemy guy was horrible. Like this town is seriously. I think we just need to get out of here. I think we can just move on from it. I'm fine with that amount. All right. Uh, so I used the potion. Um, you used the potion, rather. That cost me 30. Uh, you said you were going to pay me that as well as 50-50. So you got 100. So I get 80. You get 20. Sound good? Well, we said, wasn't it 75 and 25? Yeah, yeah. But that 75 was for me. If you want to go with that, then I'll gladly take more gold. No, but. no. Okay. More advantageous deal. Okay. All right. So I get 80 gold. She gets 20. 
And uh, well, we... that's really shitty for me, but. That's true. <laughs> Why do you you think... just got swindled by a giant troll. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, got... wait, 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 wait. No, wait, it's wait. already happened. You can't go back oh, in time. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna take the fucking money out of your pockets, man. I'm a thief. What? <laughs> She's a thief, man. I'm a thief, man. <laughs> You're gonna have to roll with that. Don't you? I, don't I you shall, have to roll can... for that? You big ogre. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. You basically didn't do anything. I had to do all the work. But no, it's what we agreed upon. But you didn't do shit. I got you the freaking contract. I carried the guy out there. I buried the guy. First of all, why the hell did you want this stupid potion? For How the hell did you end up with that shit? I told you I was getting it so I could give it to someone to say command drink and we could do damage with that. Or we, sorry, we could, I could be more offensive. When we get stuck in some weird situations. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just move on from this. Good. Trip. 80, 20. I like the split. No, 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 no. You get your money back, and then we fl we split 50-50, I guess. Is that what we just said? Yeah, so I get 80 gold, because unless you're going to take 50 and pay me 30, then it's still the same thing. I guess so. Whatever. <laughs> I I'm done with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm over it. Hey, Mar, I, uh, I think we're ready to go, buddy. Excellent. <laughs> JP swindled the crap out of you. Oh, uh, I don't care. I'll just feel it when he sleeps or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. God. Um, okay, and you guys head off on the road again, although I think this is probably a good stopping point. Yeah, I think that's a good point. So uh, Some of this town stuff got carried <laughs> a little longer than I intended. Yeah. But that's okay. It's Real all bad good. for Vincent, who was trying to be the yeah. more outstanding citizen. I'll always try. In a den of thieves. All right. Yeah, um, oh, yeah so man. I think that's probably our ending point for the week. Yeah. Um, so next, this weekend I go out of town on Sunday, and I won't be back till Tuesday. And I, Jeff, I could do Saturday. Okay, you guys want to do Saturday this week? <laughs> Sorry, does that work for everyone? Mm. Yeah, I think so. The ninth. Uh, let me look at the date. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, the ninth. Yeah, I think the ninth um, is good. Yep, ninth. I might be out of town, but if so, I'll, I'll still be able to do it. We can do it earlier in the day. Uh, we can also do it Friday if if need be. When are you going out of town? I don't know if I'm leaving town yet. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's all up in the air. Okay, cool. So let's plan for Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. We will continue role play. Um, but other than that, that's all. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, you guys, you want to do any shout-outs, Jeff? Yeah, just thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Um, if you haven't already, make sure and follow me on Twitter, EG in Control. And uh, I'm going to be a lazy bum until Hots comes out, but then I'll be back to work. There you go. Ryan, any shout-outs? Follow my Twitter <laughs> at, at MLG Ryan. There you go. Yes. Neil, any shout outs? SC2 ratings. It's better than SC2 links. They can suck it. That was kind of <laughs> weird that TV <laughs> supported that. I saw that. Uh, Jen, shout outs? Yeah, follow me at Live in Pink SC2. Thanks for watching. And I apologize for uh, the lady that I tried to make have sex with the old <laughs> ugly man. <laughs> But she has no apologies for Ryan, who she dangled, like, jewelry oh, on. Oh, no, that's fine. That's <sighs> fucking fine. He got, he got this stupid necklace for it. We're good. No, I, I still just, think there might be some revenge in, in there. Though, I just want to say you guys are welcome for Ryan's part in tonight's <laughs> journey. I thought that was, uh, that was a lot of fun. So thank you all for watching. We got up to, like, 3.2 concurrent today. Uh, so viewership is getting a lot better. Uh, VODs will be up every day for those that missed uh, any of today's play at 8 p.m. Eastern every single day leading up to next play. And yeah, that's it. Uh, follow us here, on, or I guess follow me here at uh, twitch.tv slash itmejp. Uh, YouTube, you can sub there where the video is going to go. But other than that, this is going on way too long. And we will see you guys next week, Saturday, oh, Also, everyone's going to level up from all this. Nice. So, yeah. New levels well, next week. Again? That means I get yeah, new you'll spells. Level again, Jen. Yay. Uh, you oh, get I'm more spells, not new spells. Oh, sorry. Fuck you'll just it. be able to cast four instead of. What do I get? You get more chance. You get better hit. You you can hit people better. 
more easily. Ooh, I like hitting and people. Yeah. Feel free to follow my Twitch channel as well, where I stream StarCraft 2 and League of Legends. There you go. All right, guys. We are out. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.